Welcome back everyone, we are Gaming by Gaslight, playing a bit more Port of Call, a game where we are trying to get the tickets for the souls of the dead to give to the ferryman. And, oh, a grey crayon. Oh, I wasn't looking upstairs for crayons, I wonder if I missed any down there. I hope I didn't. Bird painting. It's charred and covered in soot. Ooh, we got a new achievement, art connoisseur. So I presume that means we've looked at every picture in the game, which also is probably a good indication of our progress, meaning that we're probably almost done with the game. If we're doing... or at least we've seen every... Oh my, look at that mask. Like I said in the last episode, these faces, they really remind me of Hexadecimal from Reboot. A lot of good childhood memories of that show. <laughs> Ooh. At the end of the, his time, the man from the boy finally emerges. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to try that voice. <laughs> it's silly. But is he a coward still, or will he face his wraiths? Will he let the sands trickle out, or has he the courage to turn back the hands of fate? Jeez. The devil are you talking about? Do you not recognize the reflection gleaming in the dark? An embodiment of all your sins, all your pain. All your guilt stares back at you from the abyss. Jeez. I want your ticket, sir. And like a pawn, you move where he commands, without a thought to reason or overall plan. Ooh, very rhythmic there. Do you wonder at all what the reason might be that you s or that saw you wake up on a deck out at sea? Oh yeah, this guy is speaking in rhyme. Have been asking. I've asked, or, uh, asked everyone on this godforsaken boat, no one can give me a damn answer. <laughs> Perhaps a small mercy grant they grant it unto you. But no such compassion will I bestow upon a craven such as you. Yeah, you see, this would have been really weird if I was talking in that weird deep voice. The answer you sought I give to you now. A shattered soul taken to an edge. Flickin' wrists brought about an end. That didn't rhyme at all. But is this the end of a story, or the start of another? Most likely the former, as I see no hope for the latter. I'm not- you're, you're, you're letting your rhymes kind of get away from you here. Or maybe I'm losing them. Shattered soul, slickened wrists, what are you implying? Suicide, obviously. With all the pieces before you, one might think you a bit slow. It was your hand that slew you, yet not that alone. And by your hand, the others also found themselves here. I didn't murder them. I didn't never murder anyone. Nothing so crude, but in the end, just the same. Inaction can be just as strong as inaction. Knives are not needed to cause pain. Yeah. Damn you speaking in rhyme. The sister, dead of neglect at age six. The father drowned in a cup with only his son to blame. And finally the woman, waiting for the man who never came. Well, dun dun dun. Of course, who else could he be? But he was a loving father. Or uncontrollable Dubashi. Debashi? Yeah. Debakery. I remember him now, but I know my dad loved me. I wonder what kind of love compels a man to the bottle, where he seeks solace and spirits instead of his last child. Oh, you still have questions and I have answers. The sister, dead of neglect- oh, blah blah blah. Recall the whole story, Marcus, before you say that again. You were in charge of her, something you resent. Had Big Brother watched her, as he promised he would, she would not have been dead in a coffin taken too soon. That's not true at all. <laughs> All the sadder the lie that the teller believes, but in the end you may fool yourself, but you cannot deceive me. So let the weight of the truth crush you underneath. You alone are responsible, guilty, and culpable. Oh, one more quarrel I have with you before a resolution is reached. The woman waiting for the man who never came. I'm the one the woman was waiting for, apparently. Yes, the woman whom you once professed to love now waits in the grave. A wash in the masquerade of beyond. You paid dearly to be able to see her again. Ignorant of the results, your actions would spawn. A shadow of the person she was looking for, what did she mean? So is this like, my negativity? Though it stares you in the face, still you do not see. Flip a coin in the air and watch as it spins. One side shows you, the other side me. I am everything you hate, all you regret. Also, stop stroking the, sh the shaft of that shovel. It's getting kind of creepy there. I am everything you hate, all you regret. Woven into one person, your greatest lament. You're me, and Alice was my wife. I remember now. Alas, it seems that the need for me is done. They do not believe that you have won. One more thing remains for you before you reach the end. Go find the woman, speak to her, and leave nothing unsaid. 
Dun dun dun. What does it say? Fatim? That's not Marcus. Rite of passage. Okay. But we don't have all the crayons. <laughs> More crayons. Let's go back up to the bar. Actually, I may end up cutting all this into one episode. It might be a little long, because I, I feel we're almost at the end. Oh, can we, uh, go up? Up to the top. Gonna get all those crayons if we can. Dum de dum dum dum. Let's see. Crayon, crayon, crayon. Hmm. It's probably staring me right in the face, and I'm not seeing it. Crayons. Unless there's another area that we have yet to explore. Ooh, what's this? Up on stage. Guess if we had some music. No, I can't can't play the music now. Blast. <laughs> okay, so it looks like I didn't miss any crayons. I don't think. Maybe. Nope. Hmm. I don't think so. But let me know if you guys saw one that I missed. <laughs> oh boy. Going down. Am I sure I got all the crayons? Did I miss one? Hello? Mr. Crayon? Hmm. What was the point in the crayons? Hmm. These are the questions. Questions without answers. All right, away you go, Mr. Book. All right, let's just wrap this up, I reckon. We're wasting time just kind of wobbling around on this crazy ship. Ooh, we're getting closer. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We never did explore back here. dum de dum 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 Nope. Nope, there's something on the other side. There's no way to get over there. <laughs> I don't understand. I can see something lying over there, but I can't get to it. How very peculiar. Maybe I missed my chance and... There was an option to get there, like when we first got on the boat or something. Or I'm just completely mistaken. Where'd the ferryman go? Oh well, let's, uh, let's move on, shall we? Okay, so we're at the lighthouse. Where we meet with all the people whose lives we affected in some way. Who we are apparently responsible for killing. Oh. I have some people back together. Hi there. It's you. I can see you now. The Boiler Man is gone now. Not gone. In this world, the Boiler Man, mis the Boiler Man was a manifestation of your negative emotions. He's always been a part of you, but you're in control now. How did you come back? Everything went dark, and then I heard a voice. <laughs> it was you. You brought me back. But now you need to make a choice, Marcus. We're at a crossroads. A crossroads, eh? The place is special. You saw it before I did. It's a junction between the world of living and the life beyond. It's time to decide. But I'm just a passenger. You're special, Marcus. I hope you know that. I do. You're both a part of this world and the world we both came from. But it can't be that way once you walk through one of these doors. I won't hold anything against you. I love you. I know I'll see you again. If you take the door closest to me, you will travel to a life beyond with everyone you've met on this ship. Okay. But do we want to go back to the realm of the living? Do we want to choose life instead of death? And then, you know, death later on. <laughs> well, the cat's out of the bag now, laddie. There's no happy ending here, no sailing off into the sunset. You have a choice to make, and I don't envy you one bit. Now that if you choose this door to go back to the world of the living, there might not be any coming back here. I can't idle by and wait for you forever. Next time you come back, it might be a different ship. Or maybe it won't be a ship at all. I don't know. The afterlife is funny like that. Anyway, you have a choice, and I can't sit here forever till you choose. Go on. Hmm. Well, to be honest, I want to choose life. It's kind of important to me. No place like home. 
Hello? Oh. Ooh. Waking up in the hospital, no doubt. Uh oh. That's what I like to see here. The sound of the old heart rate monitor. I wasn't ready to go yet. Underdog game. So, all right. I guess that's it for yeah, for Port of Call. All right. So that was Port of Call. That was actually a pretty interesting little game. It's uh, available for free on Steam, by the way. So, I uh, if you want to see the ever ending, consider downloading it and checking it out. I, I might come back and do the ever ending on camera, but I figure or that's going to be it for this episode and. I'll have to decide whether to make this all one episode or split it into two parts. I probably could do it all as one episode now that I think about it. Anyway, thank you all for watching, everyone. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Your support really does mean a lot. I hope you enjoyed this little game, and I will see you guys in the next video.